Um, but okay, we got Linky up on the stage here, and um, Cranky, Cranky Kong. Yeah, he should be uh, the the tree link, I believe here. Oh, cr okay. Oh, so Cranky's the tune link. I'm pretty sure. Okay. But uh, okay, yeah, we're just gonna start off on Pokemon Stadium here. I'm gonna offer that forward throw there. It's a boomerang. Gonna get um, you know, some damage there off of the bomb too. Okay, wow, really nice call out too with the F smash at the ledge there. Kinda feel like I haven't seen Toon Link play in so long, so it was really interesting to see. Oh, the man, it's going off right now. Oh yeah, and it's it, it can be rough for Luigi against some of these uh, floaty zoners. It's uh, yeah. Okay, good. finally getting back onto the stage here, but uh, Linky just opting to stay on the side here. Doesn't really want to go to center stage. And uh, oh man, the bomb setups are real, and like this off stage too is another example. Oh, are you dead? Okay, there yeah. is the forward tilt, and that move kills. Wow, Linky is doing a really good job. Ooh, look at these callouts right now. Really nice stuff. All these conversions. Looking really clean right now and starting off uh, yeah, this match. Very dominating presence right now. What do you do? <laughs> it's like so hard for Luigi to get in. He's trying to get this grab, trying to get something started, but man, Linky not giving. Oh, was that the snipe on the double jump? Nope. Keeps it and is able to make it back on the stage. Finally gets a okay, grab I though. Know. Not even going to get uh, what he was looking for, though, especially oh, off the no. ledge. And the B-reverse actually putting uh, Cranky in a really bad spot right now, yeah. I guess. That I was pretty sure, yeah, Cranky was the two link, but I guess we are just going to keep the names. Maybe well, I am he has a there. K. Like, I don't know if the K means Cranky. Yeah. No, yeah, no, I'm sure that's right. I'm probably thinking of somebody else, but that was my bad. Oh, gee. Right now, Cranky, man, he, he needs something. Oh, tries to get the down throw up B, not going to get it. And now Linky going to go back onto his rampage using the disjoints. And along with that, correct the eye. Yes, it is. No cross up there for Cranky. Using the down tilts, keeping up the pressure. Ooh, Another down really B. Nice cyclone. Yeah, just using the bombs. Look at that. There's so much to respect when you're juggling Toon Link and the um, Toon Link or any of the links have a bomb. Oh, wow, taking him off the side. Dead? Oh my god, he wanted it. He went tried to do this man dirty with the down air off stage. He would have gotten that. Linky would have been a clip for sure. Yeah, I definitely think he could have just spared him instead, but of course wants the style points. And there is the upbeat. Almost taking him off the side there, but does he have a double, double jump? Yes, he does. With the directional air dodge, going to find his way back onto the stage. Yeah, you got to be careful how long you're holding onto that ledge, too, because you don't always, uh, you know, you run out of your ledge invincibility there. So uh, definitely have to realize, you know what, I have to think of a different option and not put himself in that situation. Again, kind of grabbing these bombs, though. So. Back throw. And Toon Link is one of the uh, the links with a kill throw. Oh, barely gonna get back on the stage here, and this back throw should do the trick. Yep. Oh, oh, still wow. alive! Wow, great DI coming out from Cranky. Yeah, really nice stuff. I don't know yet. Okay, he's gonna make it back here again. Nice cyclone onto stage here. This is his opportunity to turn it around. Oh man, the up air juggle and. Wow, Cranky is still alive on this stock, surviving. Hasn't dealt much damage, but here, this yeah, upbeat will go. do the trick. Off the side you go. He called him out um, a lot with uh, the upbeat, like right at the ledge there. So I'm really surprised we weren't seeing, you know, at that point, you know, like the fifth time that it was out, that we weren't seeing him adapt to that. So um, yeah. definitely, hopefully he starts recognizing that and um, can get back onto the stage because he was just pretty much dominantly keeping him off stage and making it really difficult for his opponent to get grabs. Pretty much everything that we usually like to see from Luigi. So I don't know, I was very, uh, very kind of having, very dominant for sure. He was definitely, uh, knows what he's doing. Seems pretty comfortable and yeah. Yeah, Cranky. Going back, interesting. Yeah, Cranky just definitely couldn't find a way in, man. It, it, was, it was rough. and. When he did, it's just hard on these floaties because your combo game might not be the best. I know there's definitely alternate combos, but it was just hard in general for Cranky to nail this grab. Here's a grab here. Tries to go for the Dare Nair variant. I've seen I've seen Elegant do, do like fair Nair variants on floaty characters, so maybe that's what Cranky needs to start doing against a floaty character like uh, Toon Link. But yeah, and again because of all the projectiles too, I feel like Cranky is searching for that grab, but he's not, you know. He's kind of really, really actually misspacing it here and not able to 
you know, start off those early combos that we like to see from Luigi. But yeah, really nice uh, offstage edge guard there coming out from Linky there, closing out with the fair. Oh, the Zare. Okay. Up to the stage. Oh, tries to get the grab on the Ooh. roll, but that, that grab that a little true? slower. What? The uh, double up tilt to up smash there at the uh, zero percent. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. For Toon Link? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really fast. 42 damage. Yeah, it's really cool. Wow, using the projectiles to even block the missile, the uh, the green missile from just like cutting some of the distance short. Oh, almost gets the oh. fair. Great DI from Cranky, though. Okay, I'm gonna keep the pressure up with these projectiles. And you see, Linky's doing such a great job going in, going out. We, when he comes back in with the projectile that he already set up, very, very strong here. Yeah, bomb into the air there, really nice stuff again. Applying so much pressure. And again, just maintaining the neutral stage here. Linky not having a hard time at all. And again, the B, uh, up B out of shield. Yeah, Almost gonna be enough to take the stock. A very strong option here for Linky. Oh, almost gets the bomb into the fair. The misfire relieving a lot of pressure. Cranky definitely needed that. Gets in with the dash attack. Can get something started here. Setting up the Zare. Oh, trying to go for an edge guard here. Oh, no. No hit on that uh, high up B there. Probably could have gone for that ledge drop double jump bear. Mm, nah, yeah. Not going to get the cyclone that he wanted there. Really nice DI out from Linky. Okay, here comes the bombs, though. Yep, and yeah. look at that, just using the projectiles to cover him and then snatches him up off the normal getup. Really good stuff. What a turnaround from Linky. Yeah, using his bombs to get back onto the stage safely. Really nice to utilize all of your tool sets that you have as this character, especially because it's kind of like what he relies on a lot. Um, and yeah, wow, getting back on stage with the tether. He goes for a tether grab, and again, Linky just setting up the boomerang, setting up these bombs so it's covering him when he does try to commit for these Ooh. options. Oh, wow, cross them up, though. That time actually reacting and uh, spot dodging. Oh, that correct upbeat. DI, yep. Okay. Move is not that strong if you DI it correctly. Fireball going to snipe that out. The Zare <laughs> not going to complete it, but the Nair will take Linky off the top. Yeah, that'll be enough for sure. And uh, actually looking a lot better, though, for Cranky in this game. Definitely seeing, um, you know, better, but a little yeah. bit better um, adaptation coming out for sure. But yeah, still Linky just applying so much pressure here at the ledge, neutral on stage, just kind of really dominating the game here. And Boomerang again, kind of sets up uh, for a lot of things as we know. But just off to kind of just stay uh, grounded here and keep on throwing out his projectiles. Yeah, I like that Cranky's opting to use a little bit more dash attack. These dash grabs are just so hard to land on Linky. He's doing such a great job of playing the anti-grab, which he should be against Luigi, but that will leave openings for Luigi. Oh, okay, up tilt, up smash. I know there are certain setups that these mid percentages, you can get the grab into the up B or even the up tilt to the up B, but the bomb into the fair, the classic, is going to take him off the side. Yeah, I know, definitely. Oh, wow, good stuff to Linky with that 2-0. Oh, I feel like we're <laughs> just seeing a lot of quick 2-0s here. No one really uh, giving anyone the run for the money, but... Uh, yeah. Nice stuff again, and uh, again, what do you do? Projectile characters in this game, if you have a hard time dealing with them, it's kind of like, you know, we'll see that a lot. So, I don't know, I feel like definitely projectiles in Ultimate, like the characters themselves, kind of like run the show for sure, and then make it really hard for people who don't know how to deal with, um, you know, bomb, arrows, boomerang, just right in your face, so nice stuff. Yeah, like, it can be rough, like I said. Luigi, just the character that wants to get in, wants to get these grabs. Um, he doesn't have the incredible dash grab he had in Smash 4, so mm -hmm. it can be rough. And the thing is, uh, with going through, zipping through all these projectiles, it's just hard because his traction's bad. So when he shields all these things, he gets pushed back. And finally, when he does get in, um, if the character's floaty, he can't get much damage. He yeah. gets more damage off of the, the faster fallers in the game. So yeah, it's just floaty zoners <coughs> are going to be rough for Luigi. And Toon yeah, Link definitely general. falls into that archetype. Cranky did make a lot of great adjustments. We saw a lot more dash attacks um, towards the end there, but uh, still wasn't able to clutch it out game number two. But yeah, yeah. it's up to Linky. I just recognize people just have so much, like such a hard time with the stoner characters. Um, you know, from starting to do commentary a lot more, it's just something that, you know, people, you know, become a little impatient. They let go of shield too early. Um, and it just becomes difficult for them. A lot of people will complain. <laughs> so... Again, though, it's just that's what this game is all about. It's like really, uh, you know, understanding your matchups and uh, the characters themselves and adapting. This game is very difficult, and I feel like it's still, um, as far as like technicality goes, and um, to be good at this game, I feel like it's a lot more difficult for sure, and there's a lot more to it um, behind the scenes. This game definitely looks like 
there isn't that much, but when you play it and you sit down, you know it's not just a party game, and this game is, um, yeah, making its way up for sure in the competitive scene, so it's awesome. And we do have uh, Pepe coming up on stage, another uh, Pokemon trainer. Yep. Uh, who's uh, been getting really good results recently at events and tournaments and has some good wins on his belt. Yeah. Uh, currently PGR'd yeah. as well. Uh, just known, like you said, one of the best Pokemon trainers in the world. And, of course, uh, here at Switch Fest, we tr tried to fly out as many uh, Switch characters, you know? So Pokemon trainer, they switch. Yep. Uh, definitely, for sure. Uh, oh, that's, that's okay. Yeah, that's yeah. why you guys did it. That's um, really cool. An 